Hello everybody and welcome back to FTB Skies Let's Play. So between episodes I went ahead and made myself a small tree farm. I've extended one side of the platform. Not 100% sure what I'm going to use that one for yet, but it'll have a purpose at some point. And then I came off in this direction. This is going to serve as kind of a multi-purpose right now because... It's going to serve as a place that I can go that's not cobblestone, that I can build up a cobblestone tower on, and then uh, rinse and repeat for hammering it down into the dust and sand and gravel that I need. Uh, I'm starting to sift up some more gravel. I moved all of my uh, mill not millstones, my sifters, from one side of the island to the other. And then I went ahead and built myself a quick vertical gearbox, another cog, and a wheel. Uh, just so I can have these kind of automated. I am doing some more gravel at the moment. Uh, we're going to start getting ready with andesite meshes, which is why I need some more iron nuggets. Um, and I've just been punching dirt and getting rocks and soil. So that's about where we're at right now. So I'm going to take these andesite, and I'm going to drop that off. Uh, I'm going to keep some of my tools on me which reminds me i need to take some of these as well look at me between episodes i'm already doing the wrong thing because these are supposed to go in that chest this is supposed to go give me that that is supposed to go in this chest all right so i'm gonna need i probably don't need my shafts i'm gonna need my axe my pick Iron Wand can stay in my inventory, but it's not going to be on my hotbar for the time being. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to need. Because my progression that I'm going to go down is I'm going to get as quickly into Andesite Mesh as I can, which I'm about to make one, so that's no worries. So then I'm going to need to sift uh, sand, gravel, and dust to get me up to a blaze dust, or blazing dust, which will get me blaze powder which will get me enough to then make a bucket of lava and then it'll unlock this progression and then once I get a bucket of lava I can jump into pedestals. So the reason pedestals is a good starting point is because it leads me down the road to unlimited resources. Because once I get this, which I can use tree bark bone meal dirt and straw uh i can actually get rid of that for now once once i submit this or uh this organic uh rich soil or organic compost if i put a pedestal on top of that it will suck it out and it will get me infinite amounts of dirt i can do the same if i put a pedestal on a piece of stone it'll get me unlimited cobblestone so that is the immediate progression I'm going to start taking is to get me up into pedestals to then um, get infinite dirt, infinite cobblestone, pretty much infinite resources because it'll, it'll also get me gravel, sand. The only thing it won't get me is dust. Dust is the only one that I can't get. So I need to quickly make myself an andesite mesh, which is why I needed some more iron ingots because that's going to get me my andesite alloy that I need, which then andesite alloy surrounded by sticks is my andesite mesh, which is a quest unlock, which gets me a bucket and some food. So now I am going to try to make as four of these. Do I need string mesh at this point? I don't think I do. So I need to make five Andesite, or as many andesite mesh as I can, uh, up to five if I can, which I don't think... Oh, I have just enough. Perfect. Uh, I do need some more sticks. Do I have any more just regular? I do have some more wood in here at the moment, so I'm just going to make myself some more sticks. And I'm going to surround my andesite alloy, so that gets me three... I need two more, which is exactly that. So that's five andesite meshes that I can put on one, two, three, four, five. 
So now I can start throwing resources down on this and getting bigger and better stuff. So do I have any excess cobble? I do, but not a lot. But I do know that I want to go ahead and do that and that. So I'm going to get a little bit more gravel really quick. It's not going to be a lot because I am out of rocks. I could probably just break that down real quick. One, two, three. I know eventually I'm going to need stone, but at this point I can just smelt up some on my own. Um, I should also make a bed so I can sleep through the night, but monsters shouldn't spawn. Or I could just make some torches. Uh, let me just get some charcoal going. So here I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get that into gravel. And that's not a lot, but it's enough. So then I'm just going to do gravel, dust, sand, and then that's going to just go automatically. So while that's happening, I need to make a squeezer, which I can't until I get iron blocks, which I should start getting iron, raw iron from the gravel now that it's in an andesite mesh. So progressing down towards pedestals. I need gold as well, which should come from the gravel. So that's going to get me the material generator, which is then going to unlock a few other things. I'll get an extra pedestal. See, it gives me a block of stone, which will then, like I said, transition into unlimited cobblestone. Uh, I'm going to need lapis, I believe, which should come from one of these. So what did I get from you? Perfect. That is most of the resources I need. So I need to go ahead, once this is done, I will swap you out. First I will make a few torches. So I'm just gonna do that. We'll make half a stack, that's fine. And then I'll just place one on all the corners. Or, yeah, so one, two, three, four of that. Place them over here by my trees, which are growing very nicely. And four. And then I'll come out here and do the same. One, two, three. I probably don't need one back there. I also probably can't put one back there, so that'll be fine. And then I'll just stick one, two, and then I'm good there. And then the last four back on this side, which like I said, this will probably be the pedestal area. I could probably do a bunch of pedestals out here because it's going to need to be one of each resource, which is going to be a lot of lava buckets, but we will get to that at one point or another. So sifter, sifter. So that unlocked a lot of stuff. Like I said, that's gonna get me um, cactus, sugar cane, and bamboo. Perfect. I do need to make a farming island other than just trees. So I might extend the trees out to the left or the right or maybe towards the back and just make a farm area for like wheat sugarcane cactus bamboo all of this stuff because i am going to need a lot of string at some point so we might work on that between episodes oh i didn't know you could place gunpowder on the ground that's cool can you like light it as a fuse that would be really cool all right so we'll do raw min raw minerals raw minerals in this chest we'll also do the dusts and everything um, farming stuff and food I will still put in here for now uh, lapis and zinc can go in here cactus can go in here and I think that's good for now so where did that get me that unlocked redstone blaze it did get me cactus i am also going to need leather 
So I am going to need um, cows at some point. One of these quests, this one right here. So if I need, if I need to sift dirt in the andesite mesh. So I'm going to get a few stacks of dirt. What are the chances on this? Because if it's a 100% chance, it's a 15% chance. So I am probably going to need to throw most of my dirt in there. So I'll do 10, and we'll see where that gets me. So that's going to get me a golden egg. And that golden egg is going to... Uh, create a 5x5 five five area of delightful dirt used on grass, dirt, mycelium, or farmland. So, probably that's where I'm going to do it. I know that I said that that's my uh, resource area for mining stuff, but I think doing this is a little bit better. So I need a few more sticks. I'm going to need some planks because I'm going to make some fences. So I need a fence... Eight. I just need one and then I'm gonna need a bunch of fences that was probably way more than I needed but we'll see so I'm gonna go all the way around to this because this is a five by five dirt patch which I, I did kind of make it specifically for this but then I thought oh well, I'll also use it for excess mining we'll pop torches back on all the edges and then once i get my delightful dirt i will throw it down here the only problem with that is that it spawns farm animals but then it also spawns like drigmies and starbuckles which are from other mods that i don't need at the moment and they'll just overpopulate it also spawns sheep it spawns any passive animal, from what I've noticed. There might be a few that it doesn't, but for the most part, it spawns passive animals. All right, crops of the wild. We got perfect. So that gets me a silk touch mending shovel and the golden egg. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and take this golden egg and I'm gonna pop it down right here and truly the moment i press this down it is going to start spawning a million animals see it just it spawns everything in <laughs> uh including like these little whirly things some pigs drigmies horses sheep and eventually i can just come in here and like kill them and it'll spawn more but there's also a thing that i can get uh force shears i saw that on a quest reward somewhere that shears animals that shears like all animals and once i get that i can shear cows which is really good because then i don't have to kill them for leather so i do need to waterlog a sifter So we'll just do that, because if I waterlog a sifter and then I throw sand, sand, I'll get clay. So I need sand and an andesite mesh. That gets me a chance at clay balls. So do I have more sand? It gave me dust for a quest reward. So I don't think I have any more sand. So it looks like we're going to go back to punch and gravel. Or uh, punch and dirt for a little bit. Because I need more cobblestone to get sand. So actually, do I need that at the moment? I don't. Because I could just go straight into this. So I'm actually, I'm not going to punch dirt. I'm going to take my iron. I do need some more iron. So actually, yeah, because I do need... I need more gravel so I can sift more to get, yeah, okay. All right, cool. We will be right back after we punch some more dirt. All right, so I just got some gravel, which I then uh, put down into sand, which I actually realized that I did more than I wanted to, so that's fine. Uh, but I do need to take about half of this, and we're going to sift it in waterlogged to see if we can get clay. Cool, like an 
isolate it. All right. Uh, so we do have some clay balls in here. Perfect. So that gets me that quest. So I did need some gravel to make uh, into iron, which is why I said I ended up doing a bit more than I needed to. I also need to uh, make another area that I can just do this. Eventually I'll get a millstone, which I could probably actually go ahead and make, and then that saves me from having to uh, mine it manually. But for now, we'll just finish up this. And I am just going to end up doing all of my cobblestone. All right, half a stack of gravel acquired. A wandering trader is bond. Good for him. All right, so then uh, let me go ahead and just split this into four. So I can just do like eight, eight. Eight and eight. So then that'll start sifting down. I did get some more stuff out of that sand. Uh, dirt clumps, soil needs to go somewhere else. Those can go somewhere. I thought I would have gotten four because I got the one and then I thought it gave me three more. There, there they are. Okay. Random assortments. Throw some of my sand. So I could probably... Well, I'll, I'll take this dust. And we'll empty this out. Empty this out. Which you need empty hands for. Empty, empty. And that got me a lot of resources, so I'm going to go ahead and start smelting up my iron, because I need a lot more, because I need at least a block to make a squeezer. And I think right now I have, what, four? Plus some ingots, or uh, nuggets, so I can actually make some of that. And then I'll put that away. So eventually all of these resources I'm going to start auto-processing, and I have a plan for that. But for right now, uh, I did want to take my dust and divide that. Because there's really nothing else you can do with dust, except uh, sift it. So and that, that'll get a lot of really good resources anyway so there's no point in not sifting it there's no point in holding on to that uh, I think I just put some chunks of something in here rock mycelium spores that's what I put in there So, we're going to start working on barrels next as well. I thought one of these quests was going to give me a barrel. Unless it's one of the ones that I didn't do. Which we've done every... Oh, the composter. That's right. Okay. So I just need some planks. So we'll make a composter really quick. I think I need some more wood. Yes, I am completely out. You're about to go over the edge, my guy. Uh-huh. He wants to. He, you heard him. He said, uh-huh. All right. So I just need a few more logs. To get a few more planks. To get a few more slabs. To get a composter. So a composter is good for getting bone meal. So I could probably just slap that down right there. That seems fine. And then I did get two barrels out of it. So fantastic. We will put those here and here. And that'll clear up some more space. So we'll take food stuff. 
food stuff. I'll put it in the uh, mushroom barrel. And then we'll leave some of that stuff in here. Iron can go here. That's sort of food. It's farming. Oh, great. He's made himself invisible now. Fantastic. All right. Emeralds can go away. Pickles can go away. All right. So at what point do I get those force shears? I need to look at that. I need to look for those. All right. So I did get some more blaze powder which is going to be good for lava production because to start off with you need to like jump on a squeezer to get lava from a blaze powder so all right so let's try and do this really quick so i need my iron out of here i need one block what else Sticks and planks. I have sticks. I can probably craft these back into planks. Yeah. So that should be all I need to get me a squeezer. There's also a mechanical squeezer that I'm definitely nowhere close to getting. Alright, so that gets me the squeezer, that gets me a tank that I can then put lava in. Uh, the next is going to be obsidian, which once I get my first piece of obsidian, I can then uh, get eight more, which will then get me to the nether. So, fantastic. Um, so, squeezer needs to go down right here. Bucket needs to go here. Or, uh, tank, I mean. Did I get a bucket? I thought I did i got one i can make another one but i don't need it at the moment where are my blaze powder and then just jump and i also need a button i'll just make a wood button two this is number three it takes like six or seven jumps but you have to be like super accurate <laughs> like right in the middle five six all right so there is a bucket of lava which gets us a pointed dripstone and a fluid hopper collects and moves fluids Cool, so that gets me down here. So I need a bucket of lava and a bucket of water and an upgrade tool, which is why I need cows, which is why I need those force shears. Where did I get those force shears the last time? I know that one of these quests gave me force shears, so I will look through these for a minute until I can find out where those shears came from. Found it. That was easy enough. So I have to look at a cow and I have to look at a sheep. So a sheep just spawned, so I can look at you. So now I just need cows to spawn. That's the issue. And it's hard to, like, force the animals to spawn. Um, you can kill them and more will spawn because it uh, cuts out the excess. So these starbuncles... I can kill that horse I can probably kill which a horse will also give me leather which is really what I'm after because I need books so that got me two leather fantastic I think this just keeps growing back like that the tall grass on delightful dirt I think just constantly grows back So we're getting chickens now. 
So these electric sheep, energetic sheep, I don't know what they're for. I've, I've looked into it. They drop energized wool, which I think eventually could probably be used to actually generate some RF. I don't feel bad about killing any of these animals because they will all eventually just spawn back. So all we need is a cow to spawn very quickly. And usually I say, we'll be right back when a cow spawns and that will make a cow spawn. <laughs> So we'll be right back when a cow spawns. Haha, E I E I O. Look at all the farm animals. Good job, energetic sheep spawner, and four shears that I swear if I just threw over the edge, I would quit this series before it even started. Alright, so what I can get rid of my string mesh. Get rid of chicken eggs. What else can I throw out that's not really useful in my inventory at the moment that I can come back and grab these four shears? Probably the gunpowder. Cool. All right. Well, good news is that while I was looking for cows, I did get a bunch of leather. So that leather is going to help me get the books that I need. And uh, the sugar cane is starting to grow. So I can put all of this energetic wool away. That's how many sheep spawned. Like all of this has RF on it. A few of them don't, a few regular sheep spawned, but yeah. So actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead really quick, and I'm going to make myself a sleeping bag. Alright, can't sleep yet, but that's fine. So, where am I? What have I unlocked? Hixeri. Uh, I got seeds, so I'm not going to, I'll... Mm, I need to clean out my inventory, which is why I need to start focusing on getting resources so I can start focusing on getting, like, chests and uh, functional storage and stuff. All right. So where are we at on that front? Progression. I need to make... So I need a lava bucket and a water bucket, which I have my lava bucket. I just need to make a bucket for water... We'll go ahead and get that. Those guys are floating around everywhere, and they are going to hit the mob cap. Uh, so for that, I need books. I need a bookshelf. Uh, where is my... This stuff. Because luckily, you can bone meal sugar cane in this pack. can grow super high all right so that got me a lot ah okay so a lot of books i'm only gonna make one i know i said i needed a lot but i'm only gonna make one because i'm pretty sure one of the crest quest rewards that i get why can i not speak on youtube one of the quest rewards that I get is another bookshelf. So I'm not going to make more than one until I need it. So one bookshelf. I don't think that got me. I did make an iron sword off camera. Alright, so quick start guide. So I need a pedestal. So I need this guy, which means I need this guy. So in my offhand, I need a golden ingot. So we will put some gold. And I ended up... Yes, I got those four shields. Okay, cool. Alright, so we will wait for this gold... To smelt up and then we will set this bookshelf down because I just need one and a stick so I need this in my offhand stick in my main hand boom that gets us the upgrade tool 
upgrade tool plus u equals u u plus water plus lava equals material generator and I just need to actually make a pedestal so that is smooth stone it's a lot of smooth stone I think I think it's a lot of smooth stone which means I need to punch more dirt all right so now I just need to make my pedestal so I do need another bookshelf so hopefully yeah so I for sure have enough leather because I killed a whole bunch of horses uh, so another three books another bookshelf and then I think I need like a piece of lapis in a stick so lapis in my off hand stick in my main hand that gets me my linking tool quest which then gives me another so I think had I made the linking tool first then I would have gotten my free bookshelf and then I would have gotten another free bookshelf from making the pedestal but I, I did some of that a little bit out of order the progression on that isn't super obvious at least not to me who is not paying attention um so then i need to make the actual pedestal and that should be the end of this part of the quest line so i need to make that it's this with this and then this so boom that gets me a pedestal I gotta put some of this food away so I can clean my inventory because I know that I'm about to get a whole bunch of quest rewards see a lot of stuff is coming in uh, or at least was like unlocked crafting wise all right so oh something's Something's happening with my mouse. What's going on? My scroll wheel is stuck or something. What's stuck? Why, why stuck? All right, I'll be right back if I can figure that out. All right, I don't know what's up with my scroll wheel, but I think we're at a decent stopping point anyway. In the next episode, we will uh, get all of these see like it's it's zooming out on me all right we will get all of these quests turned in and we will start working on pedestals because that's going to be the next big thing to work towards infinite resources is pedestals so i will get my scroll wheel working and i will see you all in the next episode